Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Chris from Wicked Repairs. Thank you for tuning in and watching my channel. Thank you for your support. And today we are going to show you how to change the chain on a Ryobi chainsaw. So here's the chainsaw. It's a Ryobi. Most of pretty much every uh, chainsaw is going to be the same way uh, with maybe slight differences. You might have a different size nut. The adjuster may be in the front instead of the side. Um, so, but a rule of thumb, uh, generally the same way. So all you really need for tools is you need a flathead screwdriver for your adjuster. You're going to need a wrench, or uh, a ratchet, whether it's um, you know quarter inch, three eighths, whatever, you're better off with the three eighths. And you need a half inch socket for the nuts. Uh, 13 millimeter will also work. Um, before you disassemble it, I already started loosening these up, but um, before you disassemble it and you start to take it apart, you wanna make sure that if you're release here your brake is there and it looks like this and it's up on this particular chainsaw or if your brake is on you need to make sure that you pull it back and shut the brake off um, if you don't shut it off then there's going to be tension on the little spring there around the clutch and you're never going to be able to get it back on so as i said i already loosened these up so we're going to take off the nuts. Now these are, somebody's already changed this nut before in the front because it is different. It should be like this. Um, not an eye lock, lock nut, but it will do. At least there's a, a washer here as well for it. So once you do that and you want to make sure you loosen up the blade as well, which I've already loosened that up a little bit, but just simply Loosen it up to get the chain loose. And we're just gonna simply roll the chain right off of the bar. And dispose of the chain. Um, you're gonna want to, I always want to, I always do, clean everything inside of here as good as I can. This one's actually pretty clean inside. I would inspect everything while you're in here, make sure the clutch looks okay, make sure it feels okay, make sure that um, that part with the inner part of the chainsaw or the little gear in there in the back of the clutch, make sure that's not worn um, or damaged in any way and everything looks okay here. So the other thing we're gonna need is a new chain. Always make sure that the chain is in the proper direction. Look where the cutting ed edges of the blade, make sure that that's in the proper direction. We're going to put it around the back of it first. I'm going to set it as close as we can because it might move a little bit with the movement of the bar um, right into the channel of the bar itself. Okay, so I just want to make sure that that's lined up as good as possible, that the chain is in the back of the clutch. You can see that as I move it, everything's moving. And uh, this is the little spring on the inside. As I mentioned, this is like a, your brake. And uh, so if this brake lever was forward, this thing's gonna be squeezed in. It's never gonna go over your clutch assembly properly. Put everything, put the cover back on. Now this, adjuster can move so if your pin is not adjusted right here you can sometimes wiggle the bar a little bit if it fits in there but if it wasn't loosened quite enough you just have to loosen it until that pin drops in place where it should right there be able to put the cover on so if that adjuster is out of whack from where you've taken the old chain off and putting the new one on then you need to adjust that to make sure it lines up or the cover will not go on right and what I usually do here is just by hand I kind of pull the bar forward as much as I can just to relieve any you know, extra slack I'm going to put the nuts back on.
And I'm just going to put these nuts on hand tight for now. I don't want to go too crazy with them. The front one, like I said, on this one is a lock nut, so I can't really go too crazy with that one, but this one will hold fine. And just inspect, make sure it looks like everything's lined up in here right. Make sure it looks like your cover is down as it should be. Make sure that the chain still is in the grooves and feels okay when you move it. And this one seems like it's slightly out and that's good there. So I'm just going to tighten up the chain just a little bit. You can see there's still plenty of slack here. Now we're going to tighten up a little bit more. Always be careful, you should have gloves on. I, sh I should have gloves on because you can cut yourself pretty good with this, but so always be careful. Um, that you don't cut your hand. Basically, I'm gonna set the tension till right at the middle of the bar when I pull down, not a lot of force, but just a couple pounds where the tooth is basically lined up, the inner tooth is lined up with the bar there. I'm gonna go just slightly tighter on it. And that's good. We'll uh, tighten down on the nuts now. And uh, you're basically done. So just always keep in mind that with a new blade, um, you know, a new chain on there, you're going to stretch it. It's going to stretch. Um, don't fight it when you're using a chainsaw as a tip. Let the chainsaw cut the wood. You don't have to be forceful with a chainsaw. It's got a lot of power. And that's pretty good there. It's got a lot of power. Um, it just let the chainsaw cut the wood, man. You know, uh, you don't have to worry about cutting it like as if you were cutting it with a knife or a sword or something. It's, it's going to do the work. The more you force it, um, the quicker the blade is going to get dulled, uh, the quicker that you could heat up and warp your bar, um, then you'll be replacing more stuff. So, um... Don't hit any dirt with the chain. Uh, if you're cutting wood on the ground, um, I would highly suggest that you cut only three quarters to a log. Be very careful. Set the moment that this chain hits dirt, it's dulled and it's done. You need to sharpen it or replace it. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Pretty simple thing to do um, that you can do at home. So thank you very much.